I think the life of a fighting dog is just horrific. These dogs have no way to tell anybody what's happening to them. These people can't be prosecuted enough when they treat these animals this way. You're going to treat an animal like that, you need to go to jail. Come here, Rita. Her face was ripped open when we found her. I mean, just horrible. I guess it breaks my heart to think that someone took such a beautiful animal and, you know, just changed her forever. Dogs bred to fight never get a chance. These dogs should be our best friends, members of a family, but dog fighters turn them into killing machines. Dog fighting is illegal in all 50 states, yet the Humane Society of the United States estimates more than 100,000 Americans participate in this blood sport. What started out as a rural backwoods activity has taken hold in the inner cities and suburbs. You got rappers like DMX and the hip-hop culture. A lot of people feel that the pit bulls are a status symbol, you know, they're these tough dogs, and uh, we should be fighting because it puts you like in the in crowd. This underground video is one of many that glorify dog fighting. We're trying to say this is wrong, and then you have the hip-hop culture saying, no, it's okay, it's part of that gangster mentality. Police say dog fighters in the city and in the country share one thing in common. Both have ties to other criminal activities. When you have dog fighting, you probably have gang activity. Where you have a gang activity and dog fighting, you probably have illegal gambling, illegal narcotics, and possibly firearms and violence. Animal fighting lead to gambling, lead to drugs. Most of the time there's drugs changing hands. The guns are normally on the scene. It's very, very dangerous for the community. Now, you think you all might be interested in us trying to set up some type of positive training for the dogs down the road? So at the HSUS, we're trying to reach inner city youth, teach them a message of compassion and kindness to provide alternatives to dog fighting. So someone needs to stand in the gap for the dogs and educate the young men and women at the same time to help them understand that you should be kind to animals. Sheriff's permit! But where persuasion doesn't work, force does. At the HSUS, we've recently doubled our award fund, offering up to $5,000 for people that provide the information that leads to the convictions of these dog fighters. And we're working to make it a felony to even attend a dog fight. And we're helping law enforcement put together cases so that we can prosecute these people and put them behind bars where they belong. Each raid takes dog fighters off the street. I'd say about four. But it also places hundreds of pit bulls in America's shelters, where they remain until their court cases are resolved. We've literally held uh, over 70 animals for close to a year, and it's placed a huge strain on our resources. In fact, the majority of dogs in many urban shelters are pit bulls and pit bull mixes. Shelters make every effort to help these dogs escape the miseries of the fighting world. Those miseries begin with life on the chain. There is Jessica. What's up, you ugly bitch? And often end with death in the ring. The average dog fight lasts from 45 minutes to an hour and a half, with some exceeding three hours. And sometimes even the winners will die from their injuries. And when they're fighting, and you see the dogs, you know, locked on each other and so tired and just wanting to give up. And then you hear the owners on the floor beside him. Let's go, Magpie. Let's go, Magpie. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on, keep fighting. And you see their tails start to wag at the same time they're trying to kill another dog. And it's, it's a shame because these dogs, some of them, are really great dogs. I mean, they, they love people. They'll do anything to please their master. And they've been so corrupted that their lives are ruined. Because of what the dog fighters do to these animals, people are left with this false impression that all pit bulls are vicious killers. In fact, pit bulls as a breed are generally very sweet natured animals. These dogs don't know why they are in the fighting ring. 
Their owners force them to fight with bloody results. She's got that leg pretty good. It's really uh, disgusting, and it kind of tugs at you because you know that uh, these these animals have done nothing but live a life of violence. Even the winners bear the brutal marks of victory. You can really see the scar, real clear. But pit bulls aren't the only victims of dog fighting. This public service announcement demonstrates how any pet can fall prey to dog fighters. Dogs and cats are regularly stolen from people's yards and used as bait animals, thrown in front of fighting dogs to test to see if they have a desire and a willingness to kill. One of the common practices to train a dog for fighting is a jenny mill. And that's where they'll take a cat or a rabbit, a small pet of any type, put it in a basket and let the dog either chase it around in circles or on a treadmill. This is Benson. Benson is a bait animal who managed to survive his ordeal by escaping. His entire front leg area on both front legs, there had to be 25 to 30 open wounds. Can you imagine your, your dog being attacked by one of these animals and ripped to shreds? Can you imagine the pain and the fear going through an animal when this is happening? Dog fighting hurts. It hurts the dogs that are victims of this cruel blood sport. It hurts children exposed to the brutality and desensitized to the suffering of others. It hurts animal shelters that are overrun with the castaway victims of dog fighting. Dog fighting is a lose-lose for a community. The general public now is more aware of animal cruelty and they're now more aware of dog fighting. Some of the recent cases I think are what it took to bring that awareness to a national level. First, I want to apologize. Dog fighting is a terrible thing. She can tell people in one second with her eyes and her face more than I can tell people in a million years. And that's important that we get to know dogs like Rita. And we don't let them die in vain. You know, she fought in the ring. We got to continue her fight in the world, in our community, and make sure that this isn't tolerated.